What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, we're exploring the latest version of WinLater, the WinLater WB64, which mirrors the official version but includes significant changes and improvements. All right, let's head over to the releases section. You'll see that WinLater 8.5.5 is the latest version available, though it's still in a pre-release state. There are some big updates, like the addition of Box64 RPCS3 support for running a PS3 emulator, which needs hardware like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The latest DXVK version adds HDR gaming support, which is pretty awesome. They've also updated the turnip driver, improved device memory, added variable frame rates, and included GPU selection for models like the Adreno 830 Elite, 750, and others. On top of that, they've optimized system RAM usage and made a bunch of other improvements. This is part of the December update, and I'll be making a video on it as soon as it officially drops. So as of now, currently the WinLater is 8.4.5 is the latest version, and it brings some changes. Box64 is updated to 0.3.1, DXVK to 2.5, and Turnip to 24.3.0 for better performance and compatibility. There are improvements to the screen size, default resolution, device memory, and frame rates. A new DXVK HUD opacity setting has been added, and older versions of Box64 and DXVK have been removed for smoother performance. Plus, there are bug fixes and optimizations specifically for the Adreno 610 GPU users. Simply download and install the package. Also make sure to uninstall old version of WinLater. Now I'll close all. Open WinLater WB64. Allow device files permission. Now head over to settings. Set box 64 version to latest 0.3.1. In the presets, you can adjust settings for stability in Unity games, compatibility mode, and intermediate mode, which is useful if you want to speed up the installation process, as well as performance mode, which we use regularly. Simply choose performance mode. All right, now save settings. Create new container. Everything is same as usual. The resolution is currently set to the recommended settings for my device. Additionally, they have added some new screen resolutions. Set turnip driver to the latest 24.3.0, or you can leave it to default. And in DXVK, let's try with the latest 2.5 version. Audio driver is set to pulse audio. In wine configuration, set GPU name to GTX 1070 or RTX 2060. Additionally, video memory size has been upgraded, allowing for the addition of up to 16 gigabytes of memory. However, don't allocate more than eight gigs. Four to eight is more than enough. To environment variables, add new variable. Add DXVK HUD for FPS reading. Set value to one. Check mark the things you want to display the readings. And to advanced section, set startup selection to aggressive, Windows 10 version, and enable all CPU cores in Affinity, that's it. Now save container. Now let's boot. All right, now let's go to start to system tools. Let's check out Direct3D. Well, it's not working. Maybe the DXVK 2.5 isn't working yet. So again, I'll set it back to default turnip driver and DXVK version to 2.4.1. All right, now let's try again. Well, okay, it's fine now. Let's go to wine configuration. So here Windows 10 is already set. And in library section, everything is configured. All right, guys, now it's time for the test. I'm going to testing out the Far Cry 4, one of my favorite games, a quite more demanding title. Here I'll set some custom settings. A custom box 64 preset is created. Resolution changed to 720p. Turnip driver is set to 2.4.1. And set DXVK 110.3. Currently most stable DXVK version for most of DirectX 11 titles. Now let's load the game. Graphics set to low, V-Sync is disabled. And there we go. Legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. 
In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Your vision is dead. Passport. soon be behind us and we'll be off on a grand adventure because I off his head again terribly sorry for what happened before this is more what I had in mind so, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Min. You really don't remember me, do you? Oh, fuck. This can get a lot worse, right? Actually, let, let's rewind for a bit, because I want to make sure that you know exactly what I want. Now, do you know why... Ajigali. ...are here? My name is Sabal. Ah! I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. There's a gun underneath the dashboard! Use it! Driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you found it helpful. I'll be testing out the Winlater WB64 8.5.5 version as soon as it's officially released. So stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Drop a comment if you have any questions or thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.